Uh, coach. Spirit of practice today? Yeah, it, it, it's a good practice. I mean, I thought uh, we came out, we practiced hard today. Uh, just got to continue. I, I thought there was pretty good retention and pretty good assignment. You know, you go back on the field, again, I say it every like a worn out record is spring, so there's certainly a lot of corrections too, but I thought we practiced hard today. Coach, uh, how far are you along with your install? You We're probably, Lanny, we're probably about, uh, probably in honesty, about 50 to 60 percent along. We, we still got probably about 40 percent to go, maybe a little bit more. So, uh, but it's coming pretty good. You know, it's, uh, the first spring's always, uh, you know, kind of the toughest spring as far as installation because you're putting in brand new stuff. Now you talked about. Um after the scrimmage, you talked about having to get get over and, and have to get back and watch the film and all that stuff. I don't know if you talked about it Tuesday, but right. what did you see from the, from the well, well, I thought, again, I thought we made some plays. I thought, uh, again, it was kind of obvious. Uh, Nick, Nick Platt, I thought, a good day. I thought, uh, you know, Pat made some good runs. Uh, of course, DJ was off to a good day. I uh, you know, really was pleased with him. Um, but, again, you know, I mean, this one's going to be a fun scrimmage on Saturday too because that was kind of a short segmented scrimmage. So we'll get a chance for guys to really step up. And spring's such a great time because guys get a chance to win a job, you know, and we get into August, it gets down in preparation time. So it'll be fun to watch. And, um, you know, we've seen some guys make plays, but that's what I want to see offensively. I want to see guys make explosive plays. And defensively, I want to see good tackling. I want to see guys that stay above the cut. And so we'll see what happens on Saturday. Would you be specific about some things that you're still waiting to implement in, in the spring practice? I mean, what are those kind of things? Well, just everything. I mean, that's kind of, I mean, we've got to we still implement um, plays. So we've still got on offensive and defensively, we've still got a lot of, is there some base stuff and there's some pressure stuff that we still have to get in. So, I mean, I, I think it's kind of normal. I think after, uh, normally after about day five or six, you're pretty much through with installation. But, uh, you know, in the first year, it usually takes a little bit longer. Offense, when it comes to percentage of uh, plays run and pass, what is ideal? Balanced, 50-50. I think, I think that's always the ideal world. If you can be a balanced offense, that's what I want. And we always know game situations change those things. You know, sometimes if you're winning big, you get a little run heavy statistically. If you're losing, you get a little pass heavy statistically. But ideally, you want to be a balanced football team. Coach, um, you talk a little bit about, you know, Few green shirts out here, but it doesn't look like the entry bug has uh, has affected what you're doing so far. We got. To, I think we've been pretty uh, healthy so far as far as who started spring Lanny. I think we also, but we we do have about ten guys out that aren't even going through spring right now. So, but on the whole, you know, it's been a knock on wood. You know, that's football though. You know, we. we as much as you don't want injuries, you can't avoid it. And sometimes you're going to have some you can't worry about it. you got to move on. You've been pretty active out there for most of the practices, kind of taking, a, I guess, a pretty active role in, in coaching the guys and, and really getting out there. And, and the day I quit teaching. doing a little bit of coaching, I, I can't stand there and watch. I have, I have to quit coaching, Jay. Yeah, I was going to ask coach. if that was going to be like the rest I, of the year. No, I, I just, I, just, I, I kind of, uh, if the coaches need me, I kind of tell us if you need me, just use me. You know, some guys take me up on that, and some guys don't. So uh, if they if they need me, I'll go fit in and, and I'll help them out. So, but uh, certainly that's why we got into coaching because you want to coach. But uh, again, I'm pretty, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of like their GA. They they send me where they want me to go. You got some experience back at running back. Uh, the transition to from their offense last year to their offense this year. Pretty good. There's a lot of similarities. I think it's been pretty good. Again, uh, you know, pretty much offensively, you know, I thought uh, we had a good screen on Saturday. It'll be interesting to watch us this Saturday. You know, I mean, every every practice day in spring is a different a different job. But uh, their installation is pretty much in. I thought they've done a good job. I think Nick's had a really good spring. I think, uh, like I said, Pat and Edo have had some good plays. DJ was having a great spring until he had a little ankle major, but he'll be okay. But uh, you know, we'll continue to see how it goes. What's your assessment of Ty Pollard thus far? Ty's had a good camp. Ty, Ty's got a, a lot of potential. He really does. He's big, he's long, he's rangy. Uh, he's a young man that I think is going to be a great football player. She kind of alluded to it earlier a little bit, but what, uh, is there anything in particular you're looking at that's going to be a little different this Saturday in your scrimmage versus last Saturday? I just, I, again, as a head coach, you kind of, you don't really, you want to see.
see the offense make plays and you want to see the defense make plays. You know, you don't ever want to leave a scrimmage where it's it's one side. And I think when you're the head coach, and that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for plays on both sides of the ball that I want to see and I want to have a clean scrimmage. You know, guys are blocking, tackling, getting off blocks, using their hands. Those are things that I'm looking for. Can you talk about your group of tight ends this year, and do you think they'll have a different role in the offense than maybe they did last year? No, I think that definitely we have uh, some good depth at tight end, and, and we're going to uh, definitely have some fun ways to use our tight ends because we do have depth at that position. Uh, so you know that's you know it'll be very similar. They'll make some. They'll make plays. That's for sure. Anything else, Coach? Thank you. All right.